Gang. Go right ahead. Engage target. Woo! I only need to hit it once or twice with that rotary gauss. There we go. Greetings, commanders. This is Fagan Hod, and we are looking at 168 of the Rogue Tech playthrough. Now, I'll be house sitting for family for the next two weeks, so if the recording's a wee bit different, there's a new setup. And if I suddenly yelp in pain, it's their crazy cat trying to climb over my shoulder. This will be normal stuff for at least a week or two. So, what are we doing today? Well, we had some fun last episode, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a while, uh, and kind of liberating after all the difficult mission to just nice to wipe the now. floor with everything. So we're gonna continue a wee bit of that. But first, we're gonna need to fix or take a look at the stalker. So what do we do with the stalker? Let's have a look. Now the critic I had of this thing is that the pilot named Cheese was able to make it move uh, a ridiculous speed. And also, uh, because of the size delta punching bag nature of uh, Super Heavy, this, this plus 300% repel bill to armor will make this thing, well, fairly stupid to use. But we're gonna try it anyway, because right now we don't care about money. In the end game here, we stopped, we left the finance behind to focus on finding the interesting stuff. So let's put that theory to the test, shall we? Let's try and build this thing. Let's see uh, if we can take it out and uh, how much it's gonna cost to repair it for the shit and giggles. So, I don't have a double XL, which would have been useful in that one. If I give you 375, you are 33. 380. I know there's a calculation available for weight to engine ratio, but you know, you just put the right one in until it works. Also, does it work? 395. 33. So even at 400, you're still at 3 and 3. If we go down to 360, still 33. 340. Yep, doesn't change a thing. So, 340 it is. That leaves us with only 35 ton for weapon. That's not a lot. Uh, you cannot change the armor, really. You cannot change the reinforced structure. Can I? If I put... I say I want regular endo steel. It's not going to work, I'm fairly sure. But we're going to try it anyway. No. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. So it's only 35. Wow. That's why these things had not such impressive weapon when we fought them. It was just a big bag of HP. Here's the reason right there. Okay, well, there's one weapon that we haven't been able to use. It is that one. So might as well start with that. Let's give it a huge pulse laser. Which is going to give it a kick at long range. And then maybe we can add the indirect backup with that. If I am not mistaken. You can give it a laser insulator. Indeed you can. And you can. Cooling jacket would work. Yikes. The insulator minus three and twelve percent. It would have been great to get a lower arm accuracy, but we'll do with what we have. All right. So how's the heat with this? With the radical here, we are heat neutral with just this weapon. That will work. Alright, well, I imagine, though, that we're going to have to give you a wee bit of indirect. Because, uh, you're going to be slow. And it's going to be a bit hard to put this on target. Or do we just give you more energy backup and you go full, uh, energy loadout? That's also a potential. 
Hmm, decisions, decisions. Oh, so the only support hard point is in this arm. So I'm gonna switch it to the other arm, actually. So that we can have access to this support point and put uh, an AMS. What else do I do? All right, well, let's take uh, the other stuff like uh, the probes and all the shenanigans before we go further. Let's use the sensor probe. Sensor risk is not bad, but let's use the probe here. This will take care of the probe. Uh, I am out of uh, Guardian ECM. If I give you a watchdog suit... It will give you a basic stuff. Let's go with the watchdog suit. Okay. So next. You don't have a lot of room left. We talked about AMS, so might as well get it done. I'll just give you a basic one. Just to say that you have one. Ammo, pardon me. One double bin. All right, there you go. So regular AMS. Now you only have 8.6 tons left. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. If I'm not mistaken, you had MML's weapon when we found you, and that actually makes sense. If I... Do I have some MML risk? Doesn't appear that I do. I didn't keep them. Well, improve ATM might actually be something for you. Like a 12 improve ATM as a backup for uh, both a bit of indirect and a bit of Heavy explosive if you get cornered. That could actually be a thing. If I go nine. That could be a good backup weapon for you. I mean, one bin of heavy explosive. One bin of regular. 60 shots. So it is uh, essentially... Six and a half shots of each. That's so you have 12... Already 12 alpha strikes of missiles. And it, I could give you ER as well, but... Eh. That will be a fine backup weapon. Gonna need a little case. Uh, okay. Okay. It comes with case. That's the thing. Right. Okay. Case two is already comes with case. Never mind. It's not a lot for your weight class in terms of power. Not a lot. But I'll have to do. So, think Predator. I think sensor risk is not bad. The risk stuff stuff is not bad. Bonus to two to detection. This is bonus to one to detection, but with a bit of sensor range. Sniper. Sniper. I am fond of the rangefinder, for the sight range and the plus one to gunnery. Simple and efficient. Or should we go come sweet? Because you are, after all, some support mech. Plus 12% resolve generation from all sources. Mm-hmm. 
That is an option. That is an option. Well, let's keep the traditional rangefinder for now. Command console might not be stupid. Can I fit it? I can, sort of. That might be a good thing. If I give you a wee bit of... Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, patchwork. There you go. Lower the weight a wee bit. And then I just have five less than a ton of armor to remove. That'll do nicely, I think. Alright, that's the plan. There we go. Huge pulse laser and a backup improve ATM. With some uh, good stuff. And a command console I think would fit for that thing because it is uh, essentially a support mech. 17 millions. Right. I'll get it in the Alright, well, we'll put that uh, on the battlefield and we'll see how much... Uh, with its size delta punching bag, how much armor cost is going to be to run this thing? It should be fun. Very nice. So, if you allow me, I'm going to do another regular mission because I feel like it. And after that, we're going to attempt to get the last two super heavy missions that we need. The Black Hole of Light and the um, Thousand Shekel. A commenter uh, showed me what was the actual description of those missions and it is the exact same description minus if one or two words change from uh, other missions that we've done before no wonder i was really having a hard time finding them so we're gonna be able to do that soon but for now let's still have a wee bit more fun with our toys and then we'll dive and trying to find the last missions again all right so i kept one last elrm to replace replace this there we go. The Yurman Gander took quite a beating. But we only lost one oh, weapon system. We can work with that. The Orion took a beating too. Uh, it lost it's both its legs. Woo! -hoo. Let's just uh, hope that we have enough ammo to replace all that. Well, I, don't, I don't think we've even opened the... Uh, Orion in a long time, is it? I barely remember uh, what was in it. Uh, Apollo, we need two of these. And then it was LRM Clan. Artemis Clan. There we go. Still a very valid mech. The only thing that uh, could be cool would be maybe a bit more Ultra 5 ammo, because he only has... 10 Alpha Strike. Angel ECM. It's a pretty, pretty good design. It still works. It still works even after all this time. Don't even improve you with a bit of gunnery. There you go. Gunnery and uh, piloting. There you go. You're even better. Awesome. When that's done. So, let's see what we have. Always good to see you at Ops Commander. Dirty Demolisher. Uh, that's an urban. Uh, Highland. Two. Sure. Now, we have this conflict here, but uh, defense on an urban. No, I don't feel like it. This also is urban. So let's go for a capture base. Classic capture base, difficulty 22. Let's go. So who do we bring? That is the question. We could simply bring the same... Same people as last time. Uh, trying out the Kirov again sounds like fun. 
Uh, let me know in the comment at this point. Is there a toy that we haven't used much that you would like to see in particular? For the moment, I'm going to go with this same group. I had a lot of fun with the Kirov. And uh, let's uh, see if we can do it again. See you guys in a moment. All right, let's go for a classic. Let's see if the Kirov will work as well as last time. Command interface initiated. Uh, I know not a fan of the, all of these forests anymore. So many to accuracy penalties and woods. Uh, and it's on fire soon enough and all that. All right, well, that's a classic though. I've done this map quite a few times. So uh, let's go as close as we can to the objective now. Now that we can actually afford to do that. Now typically, yeah, the enemies are down there. There's going to be some turrets and the reinforcement will come from this area. So what do we see? A vault base. Wow. A battle armor on its own. Okay. A rapier. I've got your back. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Sprinting. The tone has shifted a bit differently, is it not? All, All right, let's do this quickly then. No need to tell me twice. Let's go. I'm just uh, tabbing through to get a wee bit of uh, evasion and making sure we're far away from uh, the battle armor. There we go. All right. Well, this is a bit of an extreme difficulty difference difference from some of the uh, missions we've done before. I mean, this is this is a difficulty 22. But uh, you would be quite at ease doing that with uh, early game mediums. We'll see. Maybe the uh, reinforcement would be different. There's got to be some turrets out there too. That's gonna make it our life more harder. So uh, let's wait. We can uh, have a railgun turret that's gonna ruin our day. Let's not take anything for granted. Yeah, as much as I love the Kirov, you can see how he is easy to hit due to his super heavy status. How's it so, going? You cannot bring it all the time. No turrets. I'm still reading enemy contact. Raptor and rapier. Really? Before you can proceed. Well, enjoy, guys. Confirm. Looks like all the bombs were hit, missed. Commander. Talk to me. Uh, we're gonna have to take care of these battle armor. Roger that. Before they jump on someone. Roger. We do have twin long thumb uh, black rose that can probably can take care you? of that. Let's do so right now. Enjoy, buddy. There we go. I'm catching some serious. Oh, really? The three percent chance of oh, knockdown strikes dang, again. Ah, uh, with of course a pilot bleeding. What would life be without a Move pilot bleeding? Woo! -hoo. Yes, Commander. Uber Jagger. Uh, see if you can do something from Roger the back. Affirmative. We do need to get rid of these things before they can jump on Goal. someone. Critical hit. Confirm. Kirov, it's a bit of a waste to use Copy you on that. battle armor, but oh well. I'm on him. Yeah, <laughs> I think it worked. Target down. Everyone's repairing their armor. Life is good. What do you got at 23, Mr. Vulpes? Twin pews. My armor's getting stripped off. Twin pews in Iraq 5. That's not bad at all. You're You're a heavy, right? 60 tonner heavy? That's decent. Twin pews and twin uh, la large laser. Oh, we got tasered. How can I help? Alright, so let's see what's the best hit chance. 
with missiles, and it's going to be Mr. Volpe's day goodbye. There we go. Battle neck down. Ready for order. Let's capture the base right now. Confirmed. Ooh, two percent. That's better. Target eliminated. I've got multiple weapons with no ammo. All right, Uber Jagger. Let's try to get a clean side shot like Rock. this. Still only twenty percent. Yeah. Size Delta shield, mimetic armor. Okay, you have all the good stuff. Mm-hmm. You have all the good stuff, Upper. but what will you be able to do against so much firepower? Let's not do swarm, let's do dive EMPs. There you go, enjoy. Gen four. It's go time. Accuracy to volume of fire. Good to go. All right, so as much as I love the Twing Long Tom Cannon build, the uh, it's Back Less than 5% chance of knockdown. Affirmative. Happens a lot. Firing on target. So I'm, uh, I'm starting to think that those numbers are, you know, not real. Receiving you. Got it. Run. Yeah. Damn it. Those I'll raptors break. being hard to hit. That's uh That's a common thing, so well, I'm not very surprised by that one. He's not looking too good, though. The catapulter will probably be the best candidate to finish him off. Report minimal damage. These little raptors can be annoying. I've got your back. I'm but Artemis accuracy and uh, crit seeking. Follow my lead. Yep. That's one less hostile on the field. Very well. So typically, reinforcements are. Down there, I think. Affirmative. Send the Kirov ahead as well. And all this mighty speed. <laughs> What's up, boss? Full speed. Let's no just target. reposition. Stop. Commander? Moving fast. Seventeen activation left is not too bad. He's not Head panicking. Up, You've got hostile contact inbound. So, hostile contact. Where are they? My guess would be in this zone. Let's go find out. Copy that. Ooh. Oh, down here instead. Okay. What do we got? Uh, Keeper. Sure. Zachary Lee. Big Mac. And Faf. Alright, now that's much more, more dangerous. Talk to me. Than what we faced before. And so if the f this faff is the pirate faff with the twin rack 10, yeah, let's get out of there. They have spawn protection and I cannot fight back for now. So, uh, our Black Rose is in trouble. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. Our Black Rose is in big trouble, really. Yep. Okay. Faf is next. I was not able to move it. Okay. We, that might be a dead black rose. Okay, it was not the super pirate Faf that I was fearing. So we're still okay. Oh, it's the S7. Alright, 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 alright. We're good, we're good. But this could have been a lot worse. I got you. I was just enjoying myself going fast. And got a bit caught red-handed with those uh, reinforcements there. Copy that. Mech warrior, hey. show them what you got. That was a lot. How much of your armor is gone? Woohoo! We did almost 800 damage. Ow. Alright, so Black Rose is not looking great, but uh, thanks to the super heavy status. Oh shit, yeah, he was getting hit in the back. Standing by. He made it. But uh, yeah, that little mistake out of position could have cost us. You see, even if you have an easier mission, 
Coordinate don't make the mistakes of underestimating what it's going to throw at you. Tell me where to shoot. Just one mistake of positioning can screw you and kill a mech. Granted, uh, typically the reinforcements will come this way, so I got a bit surprised. Affirmative. Eighty percent. Enjoy, buddy. Target. Mech warrior. Show them what you got. That's a kill. Hell yeah. All right, catapult. Go on in. Roger. Uh, put that crit seeking to good use. For House Arano. Commander? Ah, uh, you're too far away. On it. Okay, so, uh, Keeper gets another shot. Going for the Kirov now is an easier target. Alright. That's fair. Faf is gonna get another shot again. Yeah, this is the uh, mechanical jump jet version. Alright, so Black Rose gets a move. I copy. Now the Faf jumped and got itself unstable, but I still get a annoyingly 35%. That'll do though. Hit him on. One center and one on the arm. Nice. Yep, yep, yep. That's why you cannot take the Kirov out. Confirm. Uh, in super heavy mission, it's working right now, but order acknowledged. He's too much of an easy target. Oh, we got some 74 here on the Zachary Lee. Swarm for crit seeking. Go right ahead. Engage target. Woo! Oh, hell yeah. It's on. Now. This is fun. Mind you, I'm not gonna do a uh, hundred mission of just easy stuff like this, but for once in a while, it is fun. To remind yourself how strong your actual lances. Let's go. Take that. Commander? Black Rose. Just be yourself. Let's go siege mode. Boing boing. We can do this. Let's go. Mind you, that just because I'm let's showing it to you, it's done. probably going to be nerfed soon enough. But for now, let's aye just aye. have fun. Here we go. Follow my lead. Take that. And another boink. Oh, is that a uh, got a dead pilot? Good to go. Or incapacitated pilot? I believe so. Got it. And thus. Run, don't shoot. Pew pew pew. Got it. Well, that was fun. Very well. That was a good one. Let's go try out some new toys again. And for the next episode, I'll be uh, going back to dive and to finding us a real difficult mission. I'll see you guys in a moment. Mission successful. Now I believe this worked out. Just to weave it. Alright, but our Black Rose was very close to losing stuff. To so there is that. His back was almost done. Yeah, that could have been bad. There is that. Everything else, well, they were just being themselves. Okay. The S7 is a very good platform. I'm still using one. Risk Silver Bullet Gauss. I've been told that the AoE of that weapon is actually useful against uh, battle armor. Anti air factor. Hmm. But it's still only 90 damage for 18 tons. Which is nothing. 
there's that. What else? Do -do -do -do. Tasers? Well, I've never actually used a taser. Especially because of this uh, short range shenanigan. This could be a thing. Just because I've never used it. If we press that button here. I mean, I was out of Guardian ECM, if that, even if just the uh, Inner Sphere one. Might as well. Uh, how much of these do I have left? Only two. Let's do that for now. Alright, so I'll see you guys in a moment. And let's have some more fun. So I need little 24 days and most of this will be on the Black Rose. Pretty much who took the brunt of the damage. Alright. So what I'm going to do now is uh, pass the month. And uh, so we can uh, try out the Stalker right away. The Stalker is ready in 7 days. So we might as well get it done. Probably didn't need that. It's probably not the best choice really. I wonder if there's you asking the mothers out there if you could remove these uh, these things completely. Ready to go if you've played this you quite a few season, you've seen them all and you don't care anymore. You just want to get onto the good stuff. All right, so stalker ready. Let's try that thing out. Let's see what we have. Uh oh. Mm hmm that sounds uh that sounds uh like uh yeah investigating the rumor sure hmm tempted should we pernicious numbskull hmm tempting well i'll keep it for next episode uh, we might do this one next Trying out a 31 with no support lens, so might actually be something interesting as well. Even if it's not exactly the mission that I'm looking for, that one could be cool. But let's do one more f for the fun of it, and uh, let's try and get this one done next episode, alright? So, what do we do? We do... Damn Javelin... Let's do damn javelin. So, this is one with 400 ton. Mm -hmm. Which could be interesting. Which could be very interesting because if we. Lance weight 361 with this. But, if I say, fuck it, we're going to do a 400 ton with with two mechs and 370 tons. Can we actually do it? Maybe, maybe not. This does mean that these guys are going to take a beating. Being the only target, and it does mean that we're gonna be able to test out how much will it cost to get this guy repaired if he takes three or three thousand, two or three thousand armor point of damage. How much <laughs> repair is it actually going to be? So let's do this experiment. We're going in with only two mechs, two super heavies against what is probably eight. Let's see what happens. Alright, so I don't have anyone on this guy. 
Let's just give you bearing. Bearing has all it needs. Assassin and all that. Now will do. Perfect. Well, let's try this experiment. Only two mechs against eight. See if we can make it happen. See you guys in a moment. All right, coupe. Let's go. Command interface initiated. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Now this is a cool map where there's some high ground shenanigans, so that's going to help me a lot. I mean, they're they're going to be down there. Uh, reinforcements are usually in that area. This is going to make a, a big difference. So already we have an advantage. This map is one of the best one, period, on for that type of advantage. The disadvantage is that they are pretty much all of them together, so as soon as you peek out to shoot at one, you're gonna get shot by everyone. So there's that. Firebot. Really? Maxim Flanker. Yes, Commander. I haven't seen some of these units in quite a while. This is weird. Double time, let's go! Commander. Bearing, just pull back a bit. Copy that. Alright. Safety's off. Now, they're gonna beat us in terms of initiative by a lot, that's for sure. There's one King Crab Risk out there, that one is very dangerous. Seems to be carrying battle armor as well. I mean, if we get boarded by battle armor, that would really fuck our day because with only two mechs and one has to deal with battle armor for two to three rounds without moving. That's bad. Yeah, everybody moves before us. That's fine. So the big problem will be the king crab, so I'll, let's see if I can take on it. it on. I believe I can. So, let's do the classic with this guy, only firing one big weapon at a time. Let's go for the railgun. I think we got a hit, but he was at a 60% damage reduction. So it's not open, but Standing almost. By. Affirmative. Can we get a shot? Yeah, sure. Alpha. Ooh. Drill. Standard. Okay. This is still giving me more heat than I expected. Even with the rain. It didn't look like that much heat when we were building it. Maybe I missed something. Locked on target. Last but not least, it will be the battle armor. Alright, now it's gonna be pretty much an XCOM term, let them uh, do their thing. But at least, well, there's no support lance, as you can see, the game is running much more smoothly and faster. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of hits like that. Ankle biters versus 200 tonners. It's gonna be one of those. But the point is to trade scratches for kills. Po -po. Whoa. Okay, that happened. I'm generating a lot of heat, Commander. That was rocket. Imagine somebody had rockets out there. Light damage, Commander. Getting rid of a UEV will also be problematic, because uh, wasting a turn just to fire at a UEV with, from one of our two guys Location is not the best. So I got this flanker here. Let's go. Lots of fuse. Gotcha. 
Receiving you. You're gonna be a bit too hot to do much. So. Roger that. Yeah. But that felt like a rocket barrage, so that I don't expect that to happen again. Hopefully. Let's go. And there we go. Self repair going on. That's cool. The massive self repair of that dude is incredible. And really, fire mods and koshis. Really, by. it's really wow. A really interesting fight. Locusts. How funny it would have been to hit the locust with a railgun. Truly a David versus Goliath fight. No, we're getting hit again. What's what's over there then? Over the red line. He damaged. A catapult. A C7. Oh. That might actually be a problem. I'm showing minor damage. C7s are one of the best units in the Commander. game. Bar none. On my way. Ugh. I'm able to shrug off the heat if I do nothing. But essentially only one of our two units is able to fire. Let's see if I can get the C7 next turn. Good to go. Do I have a bead on the C7? I do. Heading out. You probably did not move much. Relying on your stealth. There we go. Oh, airstrike. Of course. Of course. Can't have a episode without an airstrike. Alright, still firing some shaft, which is annoying. It's going to reduce our accuracy, which is already having a lot of size delta issues. Alright, I think we can easily move out of this airstrike, though. We're just a bit of sidestep over here. And there is that. Standing by. I mean, I just need to do this. Yoinks. I copy. Let's go for ER and QQ. Only one hit. So I'm gonna take at least one hair strike. Watch the skies. Maxila does have one bar of armor down. That stalker, man, it just regenerates all of its armor every turn. It's incredible. There is that. Yeah, it might be a useful unit after all. It just might be. Even if right now he's just a punching bag for the C7. I'm taking heat damage. You are annoying, sir. Light damage, Commander. You, sir, are quite annoying. Roger that. No shooting, just running. I've had enough of you. Did not, did not even need the railgun. One Ag 40 was enough for crit seeking. I'll take it. Ready for order. Very well. So one more round of uh, well, I'm too hot to fire. Full speed, no target. Now the king crab risk is dangerous. We have to keep that in mind. MMS 40, twin rack 5 risk. That's no joke. He's a bit of a slowpoke, though. He only has a 300 rated engine. Can only move 3-4. Uh, something like this. Damn, let's do this. 
Man, that armor repair is no joke. It's even better than an Argel 3, if I'm not mistaken. Granted, we're by being targeted by uh, ankle biters. Not real weapons, but nonetheless. Watch the skies. All right. I only need to hit it once or twice with that rotary gauss. There we go. One last target. Yes, Commander. Ironically enough, the only target that I have is the UAV. Double time. Let's go. Might as well. Target lock on enemy rear. Let's there we go. Done. Tango down. Okay, so we've taken back control of the situation. I don't know who uh, ordered the airstrike, though. The C7 was by far the most uh, dangerous one on the field. I mean, rendering half of our force unable to fire is no joke. Very well. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna get an angle this turn. Let's move. Waiting for orders. Copy that. They're pretty well lined up near the edge of the uh, the cliff. Doing a good job of avoiding direct fire, which is exactly what I would do in their in their shoes. So we see four of them here. There's one out there that there that we don't see. Uh, here comes a second airstrike. Waiting for orders. There we go. Hey, Crabo, how you doing? This will probably just knock me on my ass. So. Let's get this done. Even if it's tempting to fire everything. All right, so the airstrike is coming from something down there. This should be the same pilot, and this should be Good to go. his last available airstrike. Roger. Should. Keyword is should. Hey, you can get a 50% down. I mean... Airstrike. How did the battle armor get up here? It actually went from the king crab to up here. And uh, yeah, what I was exactly saying actually worked. It got up here. Huh. I don't know. Taking it hard out here, Commander. How did it get up here without being detected as well? Commander. Position confirmed. Yeah. Okay, well enjoy the rotary gauss. There we go. Big boy down. Now we're gonna get the clanking of doom. Orders? I'm actually gonna just plain old that. ignore it for now. There's no way that battle armor can get through that armor and the armor will just gen regenerate itself. So I'm just gonna... There we go. Okay. Just need Let's one hit. Go. I'm just gonna stand there and take it. I think I hit something good. See what happens. So our experiment is uh, sort of working. Time. I was expecting a bit of a stiffer competition that we would take more damage. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna ignore the battle armor. It's gonna do more clanking of doom. I'm sorry. But I'm just gonna ignore it and repair through it. Damn it, I think I actually like this unit now. Here's the pirate locust that was calling down the airstrike. Did 
this is a true David versus Goliath fight. For once, I'm on the other end of it. Airstrike. Yes, Commander. Let's get some flanking Confirm. shots. I mean, ever have you wanted wondered what happens when a twenty tonner gets hit by a railgun? Have you ever wanted to find that out? And that time will not be today. Target's taken a critical hit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, do your thing. Damage is light. Well, the heat can be annoying though. My heat things can't vent fast uh, enough. There's that. I'm taking waiting for orders. Can I? Yep. Let's just play that game then, then Show it's gonna get gone. 26 initiative, it's gonna jump back on, and we're just gonna play that game. Commander. Now the Ragzilla okay. has taken some hits. He, uh, ooh. Yeah, he does not have the ability to regenerate armor. Yeah, so he's gonna swarm again, I'm gonna slap it again. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Battle armors are just not fun. Especially order. when they can magically jump without being wait. detected. Enjoy, buddy. Ragzilla is surprisingly accurate. Receiving you. So let's keep playing that game. Damn, let's do this. It's a fail. We failed the 97, 95%. Roll the one. I'm going to need a medic. All right. Watch my heat. I'm taking damage. Damage minimal. Actually got a pilot hit. Let's do this. Twenty-five turn activation. Uh-huh. Roger that. Uh-huh. Well let's try it anyway, just in case. Would have been fun. Go time. Orders. Let's try and ignore it for now and hit that guy. Let's go for streak. Standard. There we Hell go. Yeah. We get it. We got lucky on the streak, so uh, all the missile hits. Just one poke of the laser. It was enough. Damage is minor, Commander. Yep, 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 yep. Battle armor is boring. Change my mind. Not talking, Barely of course, about the manner. universe of Battletech, tabletop or anything. I think just the incarnate oh. video game incarnation are just not fun. Ah, fire everything. Fire. Oh, Get a knockdown. Really? How do you get a knockdown with the 200 tonner? Did I fire two the two weapon and made a mistake? Yes, probably. Moving to position. That's probably on me. Locked on. God damn. Let's do this. Damn, let's do this. I'm starting to cook. Well, trying out the stalker is a success. Sorry for the clanking of doom. Hey, go ahead and destroy your own battle armor, that's for sure. It is actually much that's better fun. than I thought.
regain sense, Commander. Yeah, I probably fired both weapons like an idiot. Just that one is definitely on me. Roger. Venting heat and stabilizer. That one is on me. All right. Affirmative. That should do it. Target acquired. Let's hit him hard. Point. One less target. Eh. Reporting. Minimal damage. If I have one request to do for next season is please repair that clanking noise. Good to go. It's really bad. Enjoy, buddy. On it. The huge oh, pulse laser is a success as well. I'm go. really enjoying the steady damage oh, yeah. output. Yeah, I fired both guns. Well, let's go railgun. View. There we go. Go time. Well, the experiment was sort of a success. It showed us how powerful the regenerating ability of the Stalker actually is. We're not going to test how much repair it costs too much because it repaired itself. So, uh, but yeah, we call that one a success. Sorry for the clank noise, and I'll see you in a moment. Mission successful. So what do you guys think about of our David versus Goliath shenanigan? it was a nice experiment we did get injured on our chain one of it was my fault but uh, that ragzilla is deadly Woohoo! the stalker's regenerative armor is wow very strong as well the huge pulse laser is a success king crab risk is a pretty good one that's not gonna lie evasion ignore gunnery high command yeah, yeah, yeah. Active Probe 2. We were out of that. I'll definitely take it. This little easy mission is also useful for picking up little uh, pieces that we've been hemorrhaging for a while. Being out there taking damage on super heavy mission. C7 is a great mech. Let's disassemble all and see what kind of other shenanigans we can get. AR-12, I'm even, even out of that. Ultralight, partial wing. I think that'll be that. Yep. Machine Gun Heavy Pirate is excellent for a backstabber build. I'll keep it just for the shit and giggles. And I do love the title Another Idiot. <laughs> I really love the flavor text of pirate stuff, that's for sure. Uh, that can go, that can go, that can go, and that can go. Alright, see you guys in a moment for the conclusion, and then uh, next time we'll probably aim for that super heavy mission and get back into... Uh, well, really hard stuff. It'll be interesting to see them without uh, without support lands. See you guys in a moment. Hooray! So, you know, it's still half a million of repair for only two mechs. And you could bet that most of it is just the Rexzilla. Let's see if we actually get any repair at all on the Stalker. Just four days. Yeah. That thing's armor repair is incredible. Wow. So those, that guy, 38 days for the Ragzilla. Whew. Yeah, repairing that guy is intense. Stalker though, this might actually be a lot more viable than I first anticipated. The huge pulse laser is damage at long range. This may actually be viable. All right. So what do you think? Uh, let me know in the comment what you thought about our uh, David versus Goliath shenanigan. Uh, we're going to have most of our guys back. Uh, let, we can skip the Ragzilla and we can go straight into another super heavy mission next episode. 
So let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. What? Thank you for watching until the end. Please do any YouTube stuff you want. Any button will do. And help a small channel like this one. And I will see you next time. Thank you.